Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net, and we're doing a little bit of an unboxing video for a show I never actually thought would come to the States. I am a big fan of Sailor Moon. You probably know that. If you watch this channel, you have seen some of my Sailor Moon videos, particularly the one where I discuss the manga. Now, I have talked about Viz's excellent Blu-ray release of the show. Now, I know some people don't like the picture. They like the Japanese Blu-rays better. Yeah, the image on the Japanese Blu-rays are, are better. But, you know, compared to the DVDs I had, and this these are so much better than what came before. It, it's not the Japanese, but it's definitely, definitely good enough for me. I can watch it, and I don't have to feel bad about it. it you know, it looks good. It looks clean. It sounds great. And all this time that Viz was releasing the movies, the show, I kept with bated breath, will they actually release Stars? Because Stars is the one season they never brought over for a number of reasons. Toei wouldn't license it to them. And for that matter, no one wanted to take the painstaking process of editing it. There were elements that were complicated about all of this. First of all, they had the Starlights, which were gender-bending um, scouts. Now, in the manga, they were always female who disguised as men. In the show, they actually seemed to transform as men. That made it very tricky. It's still tricky to explain to people. I Like, some people even say, oh, well, they're the first trans, you know, mainstream anime characters. And it's like, I, I don't think that's true. It's just somebody messed up. Naoko Tokuchi, the creator of Sailor Moon, never wanted that to be the case. Also, there was the final episode. The final, first of all, the final six episodes are pretty violent, so you have to do some editing there already. But the final episode, Sailor Moon was naked the whole time. Now, as a kid, this was kind of like almost a scandalous thing, like, oh my gosh, Sailor Moon's naked. And yet, when you watch it, you kind of understand where they're going with it. Because it's not detailed, it's not graphic in the way you probably think it is. I'm not going to show it here, obviously, because I don't want the video to get demonetized. But if, if you look it up, and I don't necessarily recommend kids do that, get your parents' permission first... However, if you look up the episode, you will see that the nudity is very tastefully done, and it's meant to symbolize a pure Sailor Moon, not so much a perverted Sailor Moon. It's just the Western view on nudity that becomes the problem. Still, on Hulu, the final two episodes do have a TV-14 rating. Originally, they were TV-MA, which I made a video about, and I have one of the screen captures to show that it was that at one point. So... I was kind of always wondering, will it actually show up on disc? And, well, here we are. I got it. I got it right here. And I like how they named it. They named it Sailor Moon Sailor Stars. Because, it, yeah, that's it's just a weird name. Like, So they wanted to keep it in the Sailor Moon family. I love the Season 5. I love the blue. I, I probably... Here's the thing. If I was doing this, I probably would have done a scout or a soldier, I should say, for each cover... However, it is nice that, you know, they do have the different costumes of Sailor Moon with the different covers. You see on the back, there's a nice little image of all the girls. There's the villain, some screenshots. Uh, what's interesting about this is for all the controversy it causes, it's rated TVPG. I don't know if that's going to be the case for the whole series because, the, again, the last six episodes do warrant more parental guidance than usual. However... As usual, it's a great set. You know, they're, they've they been very consistent with the foil letters. I mean, not letters, numbers, and, you know, the different colors. So we're going to open it. We're going to take a look at this. Now, one thing that is disappointing that I've noticed is that for the seasons with these boxes, they don't have a cardboard slip for the first set, whereas with the second set, they do. Now, I have what I've done with the previous sets, and I don't... No, this is necessarily something I should admit to. I have rebought them with the cover and, well, sold the first season and kept the cover. I don't know if I can do that because I have not been able to find the first sets with covers in stores anymore. However, that's what it looks like. It looks very similar. Now, on the back, you do have the Starlights in their transformed state. And this is a Blu-ray DVD combo set. That means you have the Blu-rays, and you have the DVDs over here. Now then, if you take, we're going to take a couple of these discs out, and i got to be careful, I don't want them to be scratched on day one. And for those of you who want to know what, well actually I don't know why I'm take, taking 
the discs out. I could just do this. This is what the alternate cover, the inside cover looks like. So if you want to like reverse it and have a different cover, that's what it is. And by the way, for the first two seasons, I did do that because I had I had the cardboard covers. So it was kind of nice to have like the actual cover. You pull a cardboard up and there was this alternate cover that was there. However, I've not been able to do that with season four because I cannot find a cardboard cover for the first season. And it looks like I will very much be in the same boat when it comes to the second half of this. Now then, um, as you see here, we have a holder for season five, part two. It says it goes right there. We are going to keep it in for the time being until I get that season. And as always, it comes with a booklet. So with the booklet, you have, you know, the description and then you have the episode guide like these are really good references so if you want to find a particular episode you can actually look in the book and find the episode that you want and then you have artwork and lyrics for the work for the songs character descriptions I'm gonna love pouring through all this you know, this has just done a really good job with all these sets. You know, they didn't even... Oh, and there's an ad for the Sailor Moon Eternal Edition, which uh, I will leave a link to that review. And, of course, the movies, which, by the way, I, I hate, hate these covers. Like, you know, you have Sailor Moon movies. They should be a little bit better like that. Oh, and they're also advertising the Sailor Moon Crystal set if you want to get the whole thing. And I have to give Viz some true credit because... They really went above and beyond. I know, again, there's some controversy with the picture image. People definitely would have wanted the Japanese transfer. However, otherwise, these sets are gorgeous. They're consistent. They're very high quality. And, I mean, here's the thing. It would have been very easy for them to just put Sailor Moon on disc. Yeah, maybe do a new dub, but otherwise, you know, you don't have to do much. It's Sailor Moon. It sells itself. It always has. And I'm really curious to see how this is going to sell because... The seals have been going down. They have. I, I hear that one of the reasons I might be having a hard time finding the cover for season four, like a standalone part one of season four for the cardboard is because they're selling less and less, so they're cutting back. And apparently these boxes are in much more limited supply for the last two seasons. So there's that. And... I believe that because that was just kind of how it was over there, and particularly since season four is not very good in my opinion. I mean, I own it. However, I tried watching a little bit of it to like rewatch the show in English, and you know, it's it's just really, really difficult to do that. It's it truly is not a very good show. Now, season five isn't a whole lot better, but it is an improvement, and it at least ends the series on a satisfying note. I will be curious to see how this ends up doing. Because we've never gotten it before, so there might be a curiosity factor there. And then, of course, there's the other fact that this has really not been sharing the dub streaming. The first couple seasons are dubbed, but then if you want it in English, you got to buy the discs. And some people don't want to watch subtitles, so you might have to buy this, and who knows what that's going to do. Oh, and finally, that is what the back looks like, by the way. So... There you go. Uh, I am definitely happy to finally have this. I never thought I'd see the day. This almost kind of feels like a childhood dream coming true because when I grew up with Sailor Moon, I bought as many of the DVDs as I could and I had all first four seasons in one form or another, English, subtitled, whatever, could never get this. I finally got fed up and just pirated the fifth season because what was I going to do? I, I wanted to watch it. I wanted to buy it and support it. However, it, it wasn't coming here, so I ended up buying uh, not buying it, I pirated it, and to make up for the piracy, I have now bought it, it's part of my collection, I can't wait for part two of this set to come out, and it will finally be complete, at least until the Sailor Moon Crystal movies come out, because they're not doing a season four of Sailor Moon Crystal, they are doing two individual movies, which, uh, yeah, that's exactly what this that franchise needed, it needed to be shorter, because God knows it didn't feel rushed enough as it was. But that might be a topic for another video altogether. In the meantime, what do you folks think? Do you own this? Do you plan to get it? I would love to know. So comment below. 
like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.